Okay, question 11. We've got 24 divided by t cubed if t equals negative 2. And I mean, whenever I see substitution, you know, really the best way is whenever you see that you've got to, okay, got to substitute negative 2 in for t. Best thing to do is put up a parenthesis, okay, that you can use. So you're going to plug the negative 2 into a parenthesis now and just write out the question again. So you've got 24 divided by parenthesis cubed, okay. Now plug in the negative 2, and that just helps you not make a mistake with your signs for one thing, okay. And the trick with this is don't try to do it all in your head and do it all at once because it really doesn't take that long to write it out and if you get it wrong then you don't get any points and if you get it right then you get all the points so that, that's the way math is so you're better off with math usually you know write it out neatly write neatly and most students could do it writing down a little bit more than they usually do because the more you write down you know usually the less mistakes you'll make because you're not trying to make big jumps to the answer so let's slow down on this we've got a divide by and we've got a um, exponent. What's going on here? We're we're trying to calculate something, and there's a couple of operations here. Did you do you remember the order of operations? Right. So you got to watch out for that. So the first thing to be careful of is don't go 24 divided by negative 2 is negative 12. That's wrong. Okay. We we have an exponent and we have a division sign. If we look at our PEMDAS or order of operations, exponents comes first, and then division. So we got to do the exponent first, first of all. So the exponent on the negative 2, and right over here, it's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, right? Take your time. There's no rush because let's get the right answer, right? We take our time, get the right answer. Multiply the first couple of negative 2s, and what does that give you? That's a negative 2 times a negative 2. What's that? Positive 4, right? And now multiply that by the last negative 2, and what do you get? you get negative 8, right? So we've taken care of the exponent. We've, we've done it. We've calculated it. And now this whole thing became negative 8. So we have 24 divided by negative 8. We'll just stick a parenthesis around this just to um, separate the signs, the divide by sign from the negative, okay? So this, by the way, this parenthesis doesn't mean multiply because it's just separating this sign from this. And you'll see that a lot in math. I mean, if you're doing, you know, 3 plus negative 2, that can just as easily, you can make a mistake and go 3 plus negative 2 and it looks like a big long plus, when in fact it should be 3 plus negative 2. And now if you put a parenthesis, you can see that there are actually two signs there. So that's why people put parentheses. Sometimes they just use them to separate signs. It's not it's not an operation, it's not multiplied. Anyway, 24 divided by negative 8 gives what? It's a positive divided by a negative, what's the sign going to be? Positive divided by negative is a negative, 24 divided by 8 is 3, so negative 3, right? Now evaluate 80 divided by 2a squared for a equals 2. Again, we're, sorry, 